Hello YouTube, this is AK and you are watching Vlogmore and uh, yeah, it's been quite some time. <laughs> yeah, I know, uh, I've been really busy, like, obviously there was a, you know, pandemic and, um, you know, things were kind of crazy for a lot of us out there. So I wasn't really able to put content out the way I wanted to, um, you know, and also, you know, just, uh, there's not a lot of incentive like there used to be for me to do this, but, um, I really wanted to reach out to those of you who, uh, really had nothing but positive words to say about my videos, you know, those who supported me, I'm thinking of y'all's names right now, y'all's usernames, um, y'all rock, and, uh, my apologies for just not really putting the stuff out there like that, but, um, I wanted to make this video um, for y'all and you know for y'all's loved ones because things have been wild with COVID and I think it's important to go ahead and uh, address some things for some of y'all who really want to get loved ones you know armed you know people who were anti-gun before COVID a lot of them are pro-gun now because uh, they had to empathize with others and why those of us in the gun community wanted to protect ourselves and with the threat of uh things getting crazy where maybe law enforcement wasn't going to be there to hold their hands now a lot of them started to realize that having a, a gun is very uh it's a very smart idea so what i want to do is i want to make this video for all of my supporters out there who uh are practical gun owners that's what this channel is for from practical minded people who want good information and I want to go ahead and do that for y'all today okay so what is this video about this video is unlike the other ones I've you know kind of made before um, I did one about you know uh, EDC and stuff like that what uh, you know common everyday setup would be for me the type of EDC knives I would carry that kind of thing but uh this one is about practical common sense self-defense or common sense home defense in this particular case uh what weapon can you use to protect your home with that is what you're not going to expect this isn't really a gun review it's a philosophy of use like nut and fancy always used to say um for those who are people who want to defend themselves but don't want to spend over $300 on a firearm who you know watching this video that you're not going to train how to clear jams and that kind of thing. You're just going to put it down until you need to use it. I'm talking to you and uh, hopefully this information can give you the best advice possible. So what guns am I going to suggest and uh, what philosophy of use, to, you know, so to speak, um, am I going to you know, uh, give you advice about today. Well, let's get into it. Uh, most people are going to tell you if you ask them whether they work at the gun store, pawn shop, you know, whatever, Bass Pro Academy, wherever you go for firearms, right? A lot of them are going to suggest this to you. It's a Glock 17, 17 round magazine. Um, I say one of the really in my opinion the best handgun ever you know invented or just best company of handguns um there's a plethora of these uh, different models things like that but uh you know a lot of people are going to suggest a glock could be a 17 26 doesn't matter they're going to suggest this for you um and typically i would advise someone look into a glock if i know they're going to be someone who will maybe go to the range twice maybe three times a year maybe but again this video isn't for the tactical gun community that uh you know that normally watches videos like this this is for you gun owners or people who want to become gun owners who know yourselves pretty well know that you're probably not going to be going to the range that often but you do want something that's going to be somewhat effective or just effective in general um, that you're going to be able to use effectively, accurately, reliably, right? Um, and so 
I personally, depending on what kind of gun person you are, what kind of person you are in general, I'm not going to recommend a Glock to you. Now, I've made gun reviews on, uh, you know, 43s, Glock 43s, 26s, that kind of thing. Um, but today, again, if you're a person who you know that you're going to be really lazy with the firearm you own, you're going to put it down, you're really not going to do much with it, or maybe you're looking for the right gun for a loved one, your daughter, uh, who's of age, um, who lives by herself, your mom, your grandmother, you know, grandfather, whatever, whoever it is that you know that they're not into weapons like that and uh, they're probably not going to care too much about how to clear a jam with one of these if they were to have that situation happen under duress. So, what am I going to suggest today? First things first, I am going to suggest one of these. This is a Ruger LCP. Haven't done a review on this thing yet. But I'm going to tell you right now, this is the single most, I think, uh, effective concealed carry weapon you can buy. The reason why I say that is because it's the one you're most likely going to always bring with you when you go out in the street, go to the grocery store, wherever you go. Um, because, I mean, look at the size difference, okay? This thing is very very compact, very easy to carry. And quick story, I've owned a lot of uh, concealed carry handguns in my life. And I have a friend who works at one of these uh, these gun stores um, that I used to you know frequent every now and then. And uh, prior Marine combat, you know, um, the person who was in combat, you know, uh, you know, um, he owns quite a few firearms, really, and uh, he's really good friends with the owner of this store. So I asked him, "Well, what does the owner carry?" Right? And he was like, "Well, I'm going to give you some good advice. This guy, because you know, my buddy, he's carried Sigs his whole life. You know, Sigs and Glocks and things like that. He's tried to go through different weapons to carry that are effective." And he came, he, he actually asked the owner, what's the one gun that, out of all these weapons, because, you know, the guy owns the place, so he can afford any of the weapons that they had there. And they had Noveskis, Daniel Defense, they had the top of the line stuff. They also customized rifles, they painted them, whatever modifications you needed, they, get, they had it. And so, um, the guy said something very surprising. He said if he could choose any gun to carry for concealed carry, it would be a Ruger LCP, okay? Now, that's very telling, because this individual has access to guns that you and I, you know, would have a hard time affording. He's got a huge collection at home. And uh, he recommended this. When he was asked why, he said, well, if I'm wearing basketball shorts, sweatpants, you know, whatever I have on, I can just slip this thing in my pocket and I'm ready to rock and roll. And he noticed that upon caring for over 20 years, this is the one he carries the most because it's the easiest. Now, there's some of us out there that carry, you know, 1911s five days a week, you know, seven days a week. But uh, for most of us, that becomes cumbersome. And I've noticed since I've owned this weapon, I bought this specifically because of the advice he gave me um, that this is going to be the one you carry the most. Well, I ended up buying one and I carry this more than any other gun that I own or have owned for self-defense for concealed carry. Now, why I believe this gun is perfect for home defense is because you're a person, again, you're not into the tactical gun community, you're not into, you know, prepping for SHTF like a lot of us do. But you still want a firearm, you want to protect your family, you want to protect your home, okay? This gun works for you because it's got a six round magazine plus one in the chamber. It is hammer fired. So it's almost like having a little, you know, baby revolver, but that semi-automatic slide, you know, driven, right? Um, it is double action. That's good. This gun was specifically designed for self-defense. And... For those of you who are looking for something to keep by the bedside that's simple, 
you know, easy to shoot. It is 380, chambered in 380, so it's gonna have, you know, less recoil. Some people find these to be snappy. I find that the newer versions are a lot less snappy than the original uh, generations of LCPs, but, um, you know, you have the, the safety of a double action trigger, okay, hammer fired, and uh, these guns have a great reputation for being reliable, and also it's chambered in 380, so again, not as much recoil. And uh, if you ever decide, for whatever reason, you live in a free state where you're allowed to conceal carry, you have a gun that you're going to most likely carry on you more often than not. And when you get home, you put it by the bedside, and if someone comes in your home, you've got a firearm to defend yourself with. Okay? Now, some of you are going to find that to be appalling because there is a portion of the gun community who... Uh, believe that if you don't have an AR-15 to defend your home with, you're doing it wrong. I find that to be absolutely preposterous, especially coming from a person who, you know, I'm, I'm prior military, my father's prior military, brother's prior military, and uh, you know, uh, it's something that common sense runs in the family when it comes to uh, you know, owning firearms. And you gotta remember, like, who who are you who are you waiting for to come in the home that would warrant an AR fifteen to defend your home with? Okay? I said you got people in the gun community who I believe are afraid of their own shadow. They come up with scenarios of, well, what if they come in with body armor and what if they come in with this? Here's the deal. You know, I would say if we lived in Mexico where the cartels run rampant and they pretty much have most of the monopoly over, you know, the country uh, and they're rolling up in convoys to take whatever they want from you or whatever, then I would say yes. At that point, every last one of my viewers should own an AR-15 with body armor and have a contingency plan to fight off the cartel. But we don't have that issue in this country yet. <laughs> and for the time being... This is going to be way more practical. This will suit you way better than an AR-15 will for home defense. Yeah, if we live in a country where cartels are running around, chances are, you know, if, if someone like that or a group of people like that's coming to your home, you probably have something in your home that they want anyway. And even if they don't, uh, yeah, if we live in a country that has those kind of problems, chances are the gun laws are going to be to where you're not even allowed to own an AR in the first place, right? Because most of these countries, you can't even own an AR-15. But uh, as far as law-abiding citizens who live in a f not failed state, um, this is all you're gonna need. You live in an inner city, you know, live in the suburbs. Uh, if you have access to an alarm system, you've got that. You've got, and if you have access to it to a guard dog, you've got that. These are all protocols processes that you can put in place to put a barrier between you and a home intruder and then this is your last step i don't care who you are you go into someone's home and they open fire on you you're not thinking oh that person has an lcp you're thinking okay well my life is now in danger do i want to hang out or do i want to take off all right and if you've got other protocols in place alarm system guard dog that type of thing you know um you've got those processes and if they for whatever reason decide that they want to get past all those processes that you have in place then they're probably there for you and not uh, what you have in your home and even then you have a means of defending yourself all this talk about well, what if they come in with body armor what if there's 15 of them that's extremely not only unlikely in this country but also um, even if there were 15 of them they hear people open and fire okay well now the whole world is alerted to something's going on that involves gunshots. Authorities are going to be on their way anyway. Chances are they're not going to stick around. Just being practical here. So, Ruger LCP is quite enough for an average, everyday, you know, person that doesn't want to go to the range once a week or once a month and train tactical shooting and all that kind of stuff, okay? Most, most people just aren't going to be into that kind of stuff. It doesn't matter what you say. 
And you can tell me all day that you want that, well, my daughter's gonna learn how to be able to clear jams, and my wife is gonna be able to do this, and my grandma and mom's gonna be able to do this and that, and I'm gonna be able to do it too. For those of you who you're into weapons like that, fine. You wanna practice, go ahead. But you can't force people you love to learn how to clear jams with guns like this or guns like this, right? You're not gonna force anyone to do that. So I brought this gun up because it is easy to use. But for those who maybe feel like, yeah, I might not know what to do if this thing jams, and I might not wanna put the time in to learn how to do it, okay? Here's the best gun I feel you can use for the money, budget conscious, that I believe is extremely effective. And that is this. Yes, sir. This is a Heritage Rough Rider chambered in 22 long rifle. Now, some of you are going to laugh. You're going to spit your, 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 your water out or your coffee out. And you're going to say, this guy really is saying that a 22 long rifle single action revolver is what I should use for home defense. Unsubscribed. <laughs> I'm out of here. And you can do that. But if you're a sensible individual, use common sense, you're practical, you'll see exactly why. This gun is one of the best weapons that you can use for home defense and to buy for a loved one, especially in crazy times like what we've had uh, recently. Okay? So let me break it down for you. Number one reason to me, uh, the benefits of why uh, I do say either a Heritage Rough Rider or even a Ruger Wrangler chambered it also in 22 long rifle is one of the best weapons you can either use for yourself on a budget for home defense or to give to a loved one for home defense. Number one reason is this. You are more likely to this weapon's more likely to function, okay, given minimal training, all right? With single action revolvers, hammer back, pull the trigger. You want another round to be fired, pull the hammer back again, pull the trigger. Now, I understand that uh, for my viewers who maybe own AR-15s already and, you know, you, you have weapons that the majority of the U.S. population feels like aren't necessary in the first place. You might not see why this is necessary. But for a person who's never owned a weapon before, and when you put a, 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 a firearm in their hand, they feel like they're on top of the world. Doesn't matter what. It could be a Derringer. They'll feel like, wow, I got a gun in my hand. You know, those people don't look at things the same. And a lot of these weapons are complicated for average everyday people to use. So, here's my rationale. Hear me out. I rather, and I'm speaking not for the viewer who pl who's looking for something themselves, for the viewer who's looking for something for a loved one, who you know they're not going to be interested in going to the range all the time and learning how to clear jams, all that kind of good stuff, all right? Here's my rationale. I'd rather the people I love the most use a firearm that's going to give them the highest chances of success with defending themselves given their neglectful attitude towards the firearm that's saving their life the highest form of success I'm, you know i'd rather them have that weapon than the weapon that they're not going to have the highest form of success with because they might be afraid they might limp wrist next thing you know there's a jam do you understand the, the, the logic that I'm using? If I, look, we all who spend a lot of time at the range and who train a lot of people on how to use firearms, most of you know, you take your girlfriend or you take some girl you're dating or whatever, or your mom or whoever, your niece, whatever, and you have them shoot a weapon and it's their first time or maybe even their second or third time, we've seen novice inexperienced gun owners limp wrist. And what happens, even your most reliable firearm tends to malfunction sometimes. Limp wristing is a thing. And guns can malfunction because of it, no matter how reliable it is. Do you really want that to happen to a loved one when they're under duress, they're scared, they're afraid, they're not a police officer, they're not a military member, they're not, you know, a security guard. They're just a regular, average, everyday, innocent citizen. 
you can't expect them to be a soldier or a warrior or you know law enforcement they don't have they're not going to have time and uh, most of them aren't going to want to take the time to train and learn how to clear a jam with a gun like this but when you've got one of these you pull the hammer back you pull the trigger the only training that is going to be required is so that they have it in their heads that, hey listen if you've got because they're shooting with uh you know rim fire cartridges if you got a jam no problem pull the hammer back and fire again right that's it that's all they've got to know with this so um they're going to be more likely to retain that information than okay you know uh take the magazine out cock back the slide uh reinsert the magazine you know chamber another round it, that's way too much hammer back you know a lot of people at gun stores will tell you okay well re revolvers are better because you know for inexperienced shooters because all i gotta do is cock the hammer back you know fire if uh and for the semi-automatic revolvers um you just keep pulling the trigger now the reason why i said single action is because of cost effectiveness we all know that when it comes to you know double action you know semi-automatic revolvers they're they cost more but with single action it's going to be cost effective that's the only reason why i even suggest this th these things you know the, the the ruger wranglers and the the, the heritage rough riders is because of the cost but that's the only thing you're having to train somebody how to do big deal right but in my mind i'd rather that person be able to use a firearm that they can be more effective with they shoot more accurately with okay they have a higher chance of hitting the assailant all right then a weapon that has a lot of recoil in their mind they're not going to train very often with it if you if, if you buy it for them and they have it you know in their in their their dresser drawer they're not going to be accurate they might limp wrist the gun might jam and now you have a bigger issue now you have a tragedy on your hand so you know when it comes to a firearm like the like the rough rider right i'll give you an example of my philosophy with this you've got ar users who like the ar-15 because it's more accurate than the ak-47 and you'll have that group argue for the accuracy even though the, the round is smaller and some may argue that it's less effective than a 7.62 by 39 an AK round they still prefer the AR it's more accurate okay they're willing to sacrifice a larger bullet for accuracy then you have the AK crowd they prefer the AK a lot of reasons because it's more simple to use makes sense so they will sacrifice whatever AR users feel like the accuracy is with that weapon for you know simplicity most people can use an AK-47 fairly easily with little to no training. That's what I'm saying with this. Smaller round, but better accuracy, easier accuracy more frequently for inexperienced users, and simplicity of use for inexperienced users. It's like both philosophies all in one. That's what I'm trying to say. So, for those of you who want something easy to use, um, and if you, especially for those now I'm talking about for yourselves who are watching this video, you know, listen, if you have an alarm system set up in your home, you're already ahead of the curve. If you have a guard dog, you're ahead of the curve. All right. You've got measures, 911. You've got measures to in place that are barriers between you and an assailant. You know, the layout of your home. Okay. Especially, you know, you have the drop on the individuals who are coming in, even if they're multiple people. You've got a firearm, okay? It's not like you're shooting cotton balls at them, or it's not like it's a BB gun. 22 long rifle, the statistics are out there, okay? They say that 22 long rifle is half as likely to stop an assailant as 9mm, 45 caliber, 380, you know, that sort of thing. The 22 long rifle is half as likely to stop an assailant from doing what they were doing, okay, or to incapacitate them rather is what I meant to say. So when you look at a, a round that's as small as it is, 
and it's half as likely to do what the other most popular calipers are able to do, that says a lot. That's good. That's a great thing. If you really look at the numbers, 22 long rifle is a very effective round and it's lethal at very far ranges. You can watch Iraqi war veteran 8888 when they show they're shooting from, from hundreds of, you know, over 100 yards and the 22 long rifles lethal past 100 yards. So this is a very respectable round, okay? Trust me, you're not underarmed with a 22 long rifle that you can shoot accurately. So I wanted to make this video for those of you who, you know, appreciate my content. I want to give you all a very common sense, basic uh, 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 a video for those of you who might want to find something for your family, uh, for a family member in times like COVID, you know, with a pandemic and who knows what's to come. Power grid going down, you know, what, what have you. At least they can have something easy to use that is, you know, going to be reliable, you know. And uh, I felt compelled to make a video on this so that, you know, your loved ones, you know that you don't have to worry about them uh, limp wristing anything or not being able to uh, accurately shoot, not being able to clear a jam, that type of thing. So that was important to me to impart on y'all. Love you guys and gals. Um, don't scoff at weapons like this. This is a deadly weapon. This thing will kill you extremely easily in the right hands. And the truth of the matter is, is again, you want to give people the best advantage that they have to protect their lives. Okay, so um, uh, I think guns like this, the LCP, they are the some of the best weapons you can use for home defense if you're a person who isn't planning anytime soon on really being involved in the gun community to a capacity where you know you can strip field strip an AR-15 with your eyes closed or an AK-47 okay and you're constantly at the range and you know that type of thing for your common everyday gun owners these are the type of guns we should be advising people to purchase okay uh, especially for the loved ones for common sense gun use if you live in an urban area or something like that or you want to again buy a weapon for your for your, for your daughters your sons people who are not into weapons like that they've got other priorities they've got other interests but you want them to have something to defend themselves with you'd be surprised how um how effective a weapon like this can be you know even in in, in, in experienced hands so that's my two cents Hope y'all enjoyed the video. Uh, again, sorry I've been gone so long, but I, I really appreciate the support that I have gotten over the years with the limited amount of videos that I've actually made. Um, you know, and please, for those first time viewers to the channel, uh, please like and subscribe. And uh, you know, I will do my best to bring out a lot more uh, material like this. And I do plan on uh, coming out with more uh, gun reviews and philosophies of use. For y'all in times like this and, and and what the best application for those weapons will be okay so thank y'all again and have a great day